Grant them removed. Grant that this, your noise, chid down on all the majesty of England. Imagine that you see the wretched strangers, their babes at their backs and their luggage, plodding to the ports and coasts for transportation, and that you sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silent by your brawl, and you in rough of your opinions clothed. What have you got? I'll tell you. You have taught how insolence and strong hand should prevail, how order should be quelled. And by this pattern, not one of you should live to be an aged man. <laughs> Desperate as you are, wash your foul minds with tears, and those same hands that you like rebels lift against the peace, lift up for peace, and your unreverent knees make them your feet to kneel to be forgiven. You'll put down strangers, kill them, cut their throats, Possess their houses, and lead the majesty of law in line to slip him like a hound. And say now the king, as he is clement if the offender mourn, should so much come to short of your great trespasses, but to banish you. Whither would you go? What country, by the nature of your error, should give you harbour? Go you anywhere that not adheres to England, why you must needs be strangers. And what would you feel? To find a nation of such barbarous temper that, breaking out in hideous violence, would not afford you an abode on earth, would wet their detested knives against your throats, spurn you like dogs, and like as if that God owed not, nor made not you, nor that the claimants were made appropriate to your comforts, but chartered unto them, what would you feel to be thus used? This is the stranger's case. And this, your mountainish inhumanity. <laughs>